This is our 818ZX. It's a 818 tube frame chassis with a 300ZX body on top and a K-series motor in the back. So Factory 5 is a company that makes kit cars. They have what's called the 818, which is 818 kilograms. It's based off of a Subaru WRX. You basically get the frame and then you, mod you put in everything from a Subaru WRX driveline into the car. Uh, we got this car as an EV West conversion. So it was fully electric and then it had a battery meltdown. So there was fire damage, so we had to strip that all out to start. Um, mainly in the rear cradle, we had to do a lot to get the motor mounted. And based on those modifications, we did a lot of bracing. But the chassis is relatively stock from what the 818 would be. So this was a very short build. So we did the whole car pretty much in four months. So our real goals were honestly try to get it together as quick as we could. Uh, the biggest challenges were probably like the adapter plate and the clutch setup. Uh, we made a custom adapter plate out of scrap aluminum, which we water jet and tapped, and we got all the bolt patterns from calipers and just basic hand measurements. Uh, and then putting the input shaft in and everything, that was definitely challenging. And then we were also sprung with the challenge of grafting a body onto it, which we found that we needed to do about a month and a half ago. So we measured our wheelbase, found the body that was the closest fit for pretty cheap, and then we managed to make mounts for the body and that whole body can be taken off with six bolts. Um, honestly, the car was running pretty well from what I expected. Uh, we didn't have any drivetrain failures. It was really just our throttle cable end up snapping. So definitely in the future, we're gonna bring an extra, but we had a lot of issues with extending the length of our throttle cable and making that work with our throttle body again on the fly. But we managed to do it. Got a pretty good pass and I'm pretty proud of what we've done this year. Pretty much anybody that joins the club, I asked them, hey, do you want to pick up a wrench today? Do you want to design something? What's your major? You could either, if you're CS, you can come in, you could, you could work on a CS project for rec racing, or you could do whatever you want. Uh, I just think that, especially at like a, a hard engineering school, it's really nice for kids to get hands-on experience. And if, even if that's just like, oh, here's how you use a torque wrench or something, like just knowing what they're designing for is definitely very helpful for them. We have decades of rec racers that have just like come to the competition, they fall in love with it, they build their own cars, they have so much knowledge. So we keep adding to our knowledge base and asking them questions whenever we're stumped is very helpful. So I like, like we've definitely built a community with rec racing. I think a lot of other schools could do that as well, just because this challenge is so fun and such a low barrier to entry that like it's really accessible for everyone. And I think that our alumni love it, we love it, and everybody helps out. I guess I'll add, like, if you haven't come to the competition, you should definitely do it. Like, even if you, there's plenty of week not, or, uh, parking lot builds and everything, just bring a car, have some fun for a weekend. Everybody here is so helpful. We broke our throttle cable, three people came up to us, we had never talked to them, they're like, hey, like, I got cable for you if you guys need it. It's really a community here, so it's definitely something you should be into if you're into motorsports. Support brands who support grassroots motorsports. Get your chemical solutions from CRC Industries. To learn more, visit crcindustries.com. Want to see more content like this? Make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video. And for more information, visit us online at grassrootsmotorsports.com.